What's up everyone and welcome to the club! In today's video we're creating a sketch illustration of Nezuko Kamado from Demon Slayer. Let's begin our drawing by adding a guideline coming down the center of our page. We use a side grip, starting from the very top, it's going to lightly sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now let's add another guideline going across from left to right, starting right in the middle. We'll extend this out towards the left and then the right side. Now from here we're going to mark the center of the eyes. From the center line, let's move over towards the left and sketch a line coming all the way down towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. Let's take that same distance over on the right side and do the same thing. Now from here we're going to sketch an oval around that center point. Let's step up, go all the way around towards the bottom of the eye then back up towards the top. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of that oval, going all the way down towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's add a small circle in that center point for the pupil. And it will lightly shade that in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's connect the bottom of the eyes with a straight line going across to mark off the center of the nose. And then from that center point, we're going to move down, step over towards the side, and draw two short lines for the nostrils. Let's go back up and block in the eyelid. From the outside of the eye, we're going to step out, curve the eyelid going up and in towards the top of the eye, and we'll just bend that down on the inside. Let's line this up on the right. Let's add another guideline from the outside of the eyelid, coming straight down. And then we'll place that bamboo on top of the mouth. From the bottom of the nose, we're going to step down, sketch a line going out towards the left, towards that line, and then extend that out towards the right. Now from the end, we're going to step down and add another line. Now from the outside corner of the bamboo, we're just going to curve the head, going out, around the eye, and then just pull that up, just lining up with the upper eyelid. And then go back to the center underneath the bamboo, step down, just going to mark off the bottom of the chin, Curve this out and up towards the left and right side. Let's extend this line on the side all the way up towards the top, going up towards the hairline. And we'll go all the way up to the top, starting on the left, curve the hairline going up and then back down. Now from the side of the hairline, we're just going to curve the hair going out across the side of the head and then just pull that down. I'm just going to line this up with the bottom edge of the bamboo. Now from here we're going to place the eyebrows on top of the eyes. Starting on the left side, draw a straight angle line going up and in. Let's line this up on the right, come out and then down. Let's go to the outside of the chin, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the neck. And then from the top, we'll step down, slope the shoulders, coming down and out towards the side. And then we'll round out the shoulders and then come down at an angle towards the side of the arm. Let's add a little bit more detail to the body. From the base of the neck, it's going to curl the coat going out and then down. And then going back to the base of the neck, we're going to curl the collar coming down and then in toward that center line. Let's add a fold inside the collar. 
on the left side, step up, curve down, and then across. Line this up on the right. We're just going to tuck this in towards the center. From the top corners of the hairline, we're going to step out and curve the top of the head. So on the left side, step out, I'm going to curve this up towards the middle, round up the head, and then bring that back down on the right. And then from the outside, we're going to come down at an angle, and then just bend that out along the bottom. Let's add that thick strand of hair along the bottom. Starting from this point, curve the hair coming down and then out. And then from here, curve this down and then back in towards the side. Now from this point, we're going to step up and follow that same curve coming back in. And then we'll trace this curve along the inside, stepping down, going up and in towards the side of the head. Let's add the ears tucked in underneath the hair, starting from the corner of the bamboo, curve the ear going out and then up. And now we're going to add some thickness along the inside of the hair. From the bottom, we're going to step up, curve this down, and then in towards the shoulder. We'll round out the inside and just bend that back out. Now you want to draw on the outside. From the top of the hairline, we're going to step out, just curve the hair going out, and then just pull that back in towards the shoulder. And then from here, we're just going to taper this around and then back out. I'm going to add that hair part along the left side. From here, I'm just going to curve this up and then bend that in. Go back to the bottom, go up and then out. And then we're blocking that ribbon on the right side. From this line, draw two lines. One along the top, one along the bottom, and we'll close off the inside. Let's add in those two ribbons. Halfway down the side, go straight out angle up and out, flatten off the end with a straight angle line, and we'll work our way back in towards the knot, coming down in an angle, and then pull that back in. Let's go to the bottom right corner of the knot, come down in an angle, go straight out, go up and out, come down and in towards the side of the head, and just pull that back up. Now that we have the basic layout of our drawing, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean drawing, we're going to go back in with the tip of our pencil and start refining our details. Let's start with the center of the pupil. I'm just going to lightly trace this out. And then add an even shade along the inside. I'm going to add a small highlight circle along the top right side of the iris. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And it'll darken up the outside edge of the iris. I'm just going to add a light trim along the inside of the iris, just leaving a thin edge all the way around going in behind that highlight. And then we'll add a light shade inside. Just working our way around the pupil. 
Now we might want to go back and just darken up the pupil a little bit further. I'm going to go back and just lightly fade out the edge of that shading. Work our way towards the outside of the eye. And then we'll go back and just darken up the center of the pupil. Now with the eye in place, we're going to go back and just darken up the eyelid. Just adding a little bit of thickness and a couple points along the outside. And we'll darken up the inside. I'm just going to go back and add a couple points along the side, just curving up towards the side of the head, and just adding a little bit of thickness along the inside. And go back and just add that fold above the eye. We'll add a curve just underneath the eyes of the lower eyelid and we'll thicken that up in the center. It's going out towards a point on the inside and outside. I'm going to add those eyelashes along the bottom. I'm going to add three points. Moving down, we're just going to refine the nostrils. And just add a light shade in the center left. Now that we have the eyes in place, we're going to move down and add some detail to the bamboo. Starting with the top edge, and then just rounding up the side to create a thick ridge along the left and right side.
and we're gonna go back up and just add some more shape to the eyebrows. Starting with the bottom edge. Just gonna add a point along the side, taper that up towards the top, and then add a point along the inside. And then we'll darken up the inside of the eyebrow. I'm just going to move up towards the center of the hairline and then work our way down the left side. Starting from this point, curving around the eyes, and we'll add a little bit more shape along this fold. Now with the edge of the hair in place, we're going to go back and detail the ears. And before we continue with the hair, I'm just going to go back and add some detail to that bow. And go back and just refine the outside edge of the head. Starting with the left side. And we'll pull the hair in behind the bow. And then just continue along the outside. Go back and finish off the side of the shoulder. And now we're going to go back and add some darker tones across the head. Starting with that edge of the hairline, just adding these points going across, and just following that curve over towards the right. And then we'll go back and just darken up the inside. As 
let's add a fold along the top, going over towards the right, and then just taper that back in. And then again, we're just gonna darken up the inside. Let's thicken up the folds along this hairline and then just darken that up. So just adding some thickness along the bottom and just tapering out to a point. Now just working our way along the side of the head, coming down towards the shoulders. And we'll cast a shadow from the chin on towards the neck. So just darkening up the edge in the center and then tapering that out towards the side. And now we're going to go in with the side edge of our pencil and add a medium shade to the rest of the hair.
And I'm just adding that same shade to the outer jacket. And we'll go back and just darken this up. Now I'm going to go back and add a light shade to that bamboo, going all the way across. And then to give this some shade, we're just going to darken up the bottom and then just fade that out as we go up. Do the same thing along the top. I'm going to just add a light shade to the face. Working our way around the eyes. And then we'll fill in the rest of the body. And to smooth out that shading, we're just gonna add a second pass going in the opposite direction. Now we're just going to add some shape to the head by adding some shadows.
and just adding some geometric patterns across the body. And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Nezuko. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.